first Mother's Day ever for Christina Landy. Yeah. 35th for her mother, Sue, since Christina lay in her lap at Litchfield Hospital. I think she's wanted to be a grandma for a pretty long time. Oh, I've been looking forward to it very much. But how to tell her this time last year? Does your family like surprises? Yes. Yeah. The kind of surprise a couple of North Dakota transplants might reveal at the Fargo Theater on the marquee. I and mean, we had to make sure we walked the right direction so we didn't she couldn't see the sign walking up to it. Christina and her husband Michael had every detail planned. <laughs> her friends, three of them posing as a video crew. You can ignore me. Okay. Doing a story on Mother's Day. So are you guys ready? Sue still in the dark about the marquee over her shoulders when she shared this. My husband passed away this summer. Gary Hine had hoped to live long enough to walk his daughter down the aisle but died of cancer at 65, three months before the wedding. You can just turn over here. The loss still fresh. You're gonna do okay. one more shot. As Sue turned to face okay, so that marquee. Here. Could you read the sign for me, please? Me? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh. The loss of her husband, the dream of being a grand. Oh All of it wrapped up in those hugs. <laughs> Someday, Annika will be old enough to watch this video, too. And in those expectant faces of a dad and a mom and a grandma, Annika will know. To know that you know she was hoped for and wished for and looked forward to, it's pretty cool. I hope she feels it growing up, but to be able to see it. So, happy Mother's Day on your first and forever. I'm very grateful. Boyd Hoopert, Carol 11 News. Our loved one's legacy, right? Happy Mother's Day to those mothers. So beautiful, and we wish them the best, their whole family, their father obviously living on.